Good morning, welcome back. It is Jen Hornick and Bob Palestri, and we are here again to give you guys some information on the market in Long Beach Island. So go ahead, Bob, why don't you start us off? Well, I just want to welcome everyone to LBI 2022. It's going to be a good year for all of our clients. The inventory this morning is down again, another 5%, about 105 homes are for sale. Um, in addition, we're predicting and we're thinking that the price increase on LBI in 2022 will be in the single digits as opposed to last year double digits. That's going to have an impact on both sellers and buyers. For you sellers, you still have a good opportunity. For you buyers, there's also a better pricing opportunity. So those of you that may be thinking about selling to take advantage of the seller's market that we are now in, there are some things that I just wanted to uh, review with you. So normally when um, I go into a person's home as a realtor to help them prepare their home to sell, um, you may think, well, as long as I declutter and take all those personal photos down and maybe take down all of the kid artwork on the refrigerator, that that is considered staging your home to list. But I can tell you from experience that truly what you need to do to maximize the uh, price point that your house will sell for is to actually stage it. Now, does this mean that you need to hire a staging company? Not necessarily. So what I do is I will go through the home with my potential seller and we will actually act like you are moving out of the home. So that may mean taking a new look at how your furniture is even set up in the home, um, turning a playroom back into a dining room, um, those kind of things, just moving some furniture around and really taking a new look at your home, um, maybe even taking some of that excess furniture and not trying to shove it into the garage, but renting a storage unit and storing it in there. I can tell you, you may think, well, this is a huge pain and it may be an expense, but it will gain you, I would say a minimum of 10, but probably, and in my personal opinion, I feel up to 20% in the final sales price of your home. It's such an easy thing to do um, and your realtor should be able to help you with that. So along those lines, um, I would like to have my husband, Bruce Hornick, come on. He is our first special guest. Um, he is the owner of LBI Home Solutions, which is a handyman and small contractor on LBI. I rely on Bruce and so does Bob for help with a lot of our listing, as well as um, if we have CO inspections, he can come in and do those sort of things to help us get the homes ready. So he has some quick tips for you as well as a seller that you may want to consider. Hi, welcome. So one of the things Jen's alluding to is basically the aesthetic look of the house as somebody first comes in. One of the quickest things that I always notice, now again, maybe because my eyes, I guess, has a tendency to look for these things, is just the operations of lights, switches, make sure that they're all operational, dead bulbs, make sure to replace them. One of the big things when you talk about switches and lights is the cover plates. They, over years, get dinged up, dinged, dingy, or sometimes they're even cracked. Easiest thing to do, any homeowner can do it. Go to a big store, whether it be Home Depot or Lowe's, pick up a couple of these different plates that you need, replace them. It's a small flathead screwdriver, does it great. Additionally, there are your HVAC registers. A lot of times those have some type of, you know, whether it be, again, usage, marks, or, you know, some indications of mold or whatnot, <clears throat> clear those up, get them taken care of, replace those. There's a great easy ways to make the house look that much better. And why not make it easier for the home inspection at the end of the day as well? Thank you. Um, Bob, did you have anything else that you want to talk about, maybe on the buyer side? Absolutely on the buyer side, uh, especially specific to LBI. Your pre-approval, if you're not doing a cash deal, your pre-approval could be the most important document you can supply. It's so important that there are sellers on LBI that will only accept pre-approval from known LBI mortgage suppliers. It's critical. Um, so this, is, this has happened time and time again. So that pre-approval is very important. 
The other thing, and by the way, Jen, thank you for those hints on, uh, we're gonna have more of these as we go forward. Today, we're just giving you a few. Another buyer's hint is your agent selection. Could be me, could be Jen, it could be anybody. That agent has to be your person on the ground. You're gonna find 98% of buyers are finding their homes on realtor.com or Zillow. But it is your agent that knows the real details behind that opportunity. So count on and expect your agent to do that legwork for you. Um, that's about it for today, mm -hmm. uh, Jen, as far as buyer hints. So we're glad that you guys came back to check out what we had to say today. Thank you so much, Bruce, for coming and joining us. Um, if you guys have any specific questions, if you're thinking about selling, you're thinking about buying, um, we would love to focus um, these talks that we have with you on what you want to hear. So um, thanks again for coming back, and we will see you again soon.